Welcome to Board Shop, Surfboard Review Time. Um, me and Stokesy, we've only got one microphone, so if you see me leaning in, <laughs> don't be alarmed. <laughs> New board from Form, uh, this is the Flowfish. You're aware, of course, of the Flow Stick, the Flow Stick Pro, the Flow Stick Mini, and the whole Flow Stick family. And we thought we'd add uh, another version, and this is the Flowfish, and it is a stunner of a surfboard. Stokes is going to talk you through it, the design features, um, and then we'll sum up at the end. Stokesy, okay. yeah. So yeah, here it is, the new Flow Fish, brand new model from Form. Like Ian said, we're super excited about this one. It's really fun surfboard to ride, about as fast as a surfboard's going to go. Somewhere between a traditional fish and a performance twin. Um, we're trying to blend those lines as much as we can. Um, and here it is, this is our flow fish. This actually came off of a board that I had, I've had it for like 20 years, a twin fin that I couldn't get rid of because it just went so good. So we took some aspects of that and, and put it into this board. Um, this one is a 5.6, I'd probably ride this 5.6, 5.4. I try and ride it almost as small as I can um, just because the thing goes, they go so quick even if you ride them tiny. Uh, we've got this set up uh, with the upright power twins. Um, you can ride this with the upright power twins um, and it's, this really lets the board be quite performancey as a twin. It allows your surfing to go a lot more vertical, um, gives you a lot of control. Lose a little bit of speed compared to if you were to use a real traditional twin keel, like this one. Um, if you put these in, this board absolutely flies, but you lose a little bit of that vertical attack, you're gonna go, go a lot more down the line with, with more speed, more open face calves. Um, yeah, so that's your fin options. This has just got a nice V all the way through the board. Um, it's pretty flat, like a normal traditional fish. And then again, just that really nice pulled down performance rail. So you're gonna be going super, super fast on this board. And then when you wanna turn, you want that nice down rail. So when you lean on it, you've got control and you can draw out really big, fast swooping calves. Uh, uh, fishes like this, you don't tend to really think about going like vertical and doing snaps. It will do it, but you really wanna be thinking about nice, big, long calves, kind of like you're snowboarding on a, on a wave. Um, and at the back here, we've got a little swallow tail. Sorry, I should say quite a wide swallow tail. Um, and this just allows a lot of water to come through the back of the board here. Each point of the swallow there just almost acts like another fin. So when you're leaning onto that toe edge or heel edge, that swallow is going to kick in and hold you into the face. And you probably can't see it, but we've even got a little tiny hip here behind the fin. And that just allows that board to pivot a little bit more up the face. So just adding a bit more performance in a traditional shape. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks, Tosin. Um, wave range? When, when are you going to surf the fish? <laughs> Wave range, so ideally a fish like this is going to excel in clean surf, big long walls, um, two foot to four foot is the ideal uh, range. Uh, yes, like I said, it's going, to, it's going to surf really well in very clean waves, but it's still going to be great fun in onshore stuff as well. Um, it's going to carry its speed very well. So I guess that's the key for a lot of people, because um, most of us are surfing, you know, sub shoulder high, average waves mm -hmm. onshore yep. and this is a good option because it generates a lot of speed I guess and speed is the nemesis of surfing the more yeah. speed the easier it is exactly it is. yeah this this will go in any surf um, obviously it's going to top out if you're trying to surf six foot barrel barreling waves obviously you're going to have to be damn that's just what I was yeah you're going to have to have a, a fairly good ability to you'd still be able to surf it but you're going to be surfing it fairly technically but yeah in any kind of onshore waves it's still going to carry a lot of speed more so than any short board because you haven't got that trailer fin yeah. and you've got that wide tail um, yeah it's just going to really free up your surfing you can get creative on it the thing about surfing fish boards whether it's a performance or a traditional this one's kind of right in the middle is you tend to try to surf a little bit differently than you would on your shortboard and that's why they're fun because it yeah. takes away um, the kind of performance element of a shortboard that very up and down surfing and it allows you to just kind of go anywhere on a wave and I think that's why people enjoy them because it frees up surfing yeah. for you to do anything you want. Beautiful. Um, as always online right now in the shop custom orders available as there are with all form boards 0% finance trading your old board uh, we're here to help and if anyone really wants it, I'll give him Stokes' mobile number and he can talk to them directly about it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>